Today we're going to be talking about sorting in Python and specifically the sorted built-in function versus list.sort. So here I have variables a and b that I've queued up with the exact same list and we can just run it to see uh, 4, 3, 2, 1 for both. And let's see what happens using sort versus sorted and kind of understand the differences. So first if I wrap a in sorted of course, that's going to sort the list uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And if I return A, that's still going to return 4, 3, 2, 1. So we did not modify the original list, we made a copy of it. Now, what if I did that same thing uh, with dot sort? So I guess we would do B dot sort, and we can run B, and see B has become 1, 2, 3, 4, and if I run it again, it's still 1, 2, 3, 4 that list has been permanently changed. Whereas A is 4, 3, 2, 1, like it was in the beginning, B is 1, 2, 3, 4, and it has been modified from its original form. I wanted to start with this coding example, but let's actually back it up and look at a definition. So in this document about sorting, it states that Python lists have a built-in sort method, and it modifies the list in place. And then we have a sorted built-in function, and that builds a new sorted list from an iterable. So very explicitly saying that one is modifying the list in place, and one is building a new sorted list, and I think that's kind of what we saw um, in the terminal. So again, A has uh, stayed um, the original list where B has been modified. The next big difference I wanted to make is that sorted, the built-in function, can be used with any iterable. So we could even pass a string to it and we can sort that. Uh, we could pass, say, a set to it and it's gonna sort that. So it's gonna take any iterable. But if we were using the sort method, that is specific to lists. So we could do a.sort, of course, and that list has been sorted. Uh, but if you tried to do, I don't know, let's say hey.sort, um, that's going to get an error because the string object has no attribute sort. Only a list could be sorted in that way. So we could wrap a list around that. I don't think that'll do anything from a sort perspective, but it did not give you an error. So please note that dot sort is only with lists, whereas sorted is with any iterable. So sorted might be safer in that way where you might not know what type you're getting. Could be a tuple, list, set, dictionary, whatever and uh, you're not gonna get any errors. Next, I wanna point out some similarities between sort and sorted. Uh, so what we could do is look at the autocomplete documentation here, and what I wanna point out is that the key and reverse optional arguments are available to uh, the sorted built-in function. And if we did a list.sort, the key and reverse are available to this as well. So both sort and sorted have the same optional arguments, and I think that's why there's some confusion uh, among developers as to are these the same thing, whatever. And I could show you what that looks like if you really want to see. So let's say uh, these are already sorted. So let's say we do a equals 4, 3, 2, 1 again, right? So we have a. Um, if we did sorted a, one, two, three, four. But if we did sorted a reverse equals true, that's going to actually keep the order because it's sorting it and then reversing it again, I guess. Um, but you can see how that impacted the output either way. And we could do the same thing with the sort method. Um, so here we have our list and we could do a dot sort. And I guess we want to put reverse equals true in here. And when we run a, um, you know, it's, it, I guess it was sorted and then reversed back, right? So if we remove that, um, it has been sorted, and then, you know, we do it again. I don't know, that might be confusing now. But yeah, it's been sorted back. So bottom line, reverse and key are both available to you. All right, let's run this one more time just so we feel more comfortable with it. And what I'll do is we'll do like a, a list of strings this time. So let's do a, 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 okay? So here we have our list of strings. 
And if we ran sorted on that, that is going to put that um, in order from lowest to highest, right? So we're sorting with it. But if you run A again, uh, that original list has not changed. Uh, we made a copy of the list and we did not modify the original list. Now let's do that same thing with the sort method. So we have our original list, uh, AAA, AA, A, and we could do A dot sort, run this again, and it has been sorted, but we're running A and that original list has been modified, right? The original list has been reversed, the indexes have changed, uh, which is different than what we saw with the sorted built-in function. So those are the two big differences between sort and sorted. Um, number one, sorted takes any iterable, whereas sort only takes a list. And then number two, um, one is modifying the original list versus one is making a copy of that list and keeping the original list intact. I think that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching.